welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today for me is Wednesday. It is February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. It's time to get my Valentine's decor down. I love love putting it up, but I'm always ready to take it down. I don't know why that is. It's pretty much that way with every season, every time, every holiday, whatever. It's just time. So it's lived its life. It's been fun. It's been fun to have the pops of red and the hearts everywhere, but it is time to take it down and it is feeling like spring and I have got my doors open. My windows are open. It's me 72 degrees today. I, I like, I love winter and I want snow and it's only February, but when we get these days like this, all I want is spring and summer. <laughs> I cannot, I will not complain. And of course, all the fur babies love it too. I've got towels here because I've been having to wipe the muddy paw prints every time they come in. But look at everybody wants to go outside because it's so beautiful. I know everybody wants to go. Trust me, we've been in and out all day long. Sorry for the <laughs> camera has a hard time adjusting to that bright sunlight. It's actually sunny now. It was kind of gray and rainy all morning, but it's um it's sunny now and it's just beautiful so i got a lot to do today i want to get everything taken down i really need to like do my floors i need to dust i need to pack everything away just give everything a clean fresh start and like i've been talking about a few times my tv is really loud i need to turn that down um, i'm getting ready to do a project so today's wednesday so saturday we're going to start on it so i'm hoping jackson has a four-day weekend this weekend and marion doesn't but and he's going to be doing a lot of it. <laughs> Honestly, he's going to have to do a lot. Of course, I'm going to help and I'm going to supervise and I'm going to tell him what I want. But he's the one that has to do a lot of it. So um, he doesn't have a four day weekend. So we'll have to get as much done as we can over the weekend. But definitely be looking for that. In fact, it may be the very next video. I think it is going to be the very next video that you see. So make sure that you come back. It's going to be nice. I can't wait. It's well, there's going to be a couple coming up. But as you know, there's a never ending list of home improvements and you know, things I want to get done around here, but we lived here 18 years and obviously it's not going to get done all at once. So <laughs> just going to get done when it gets done. But, um, I need to take my bedding off. I need to wash it. My duvet is so bad because my dogs sleep in our bed. So, and then Clyde has like torn holes all in it. I'm kind of, I was looking at it the other day thinking I really need to replace it, but I love that one. I could either buy the same one and replace it or just get another one but right now I'm gonna try and make it work I just kind of flip it over when it's the tears I guess I could probably sew them up but it's just got holes in it and it's kind of it's been about a year that we've had it but it's not bad since we've had you know we have dogs sleeping with us okay so before I do any cleaning I've got to get dinner in the crock pot because it is after 12 o'clock and this has got to cook so this was frozen this morning I have tried to get it defrosted. It's not totally defrosted, so it's gonna be a little frozen still. So I'm gonna put the crock pot on high. And I have this Pioneer Woman crock pot and it's probably on its last leg. You see this crack that goes all the way, but I've had it for years and one of these days it's gonna break. <laughs> but this is gonna be super easy. So I got this recipe on YouTube from a, a girl named Julia Pacheco. I think that's how you say her name, Pacheco. She always has really great, easy, quick, meals and she had this crock pot video the other day that i watched and i saved it in my watch later so i could have this recipe so this is a, a marinade dressing marinade that may be hard to find i couldn't find it at walmart but i did find it at kroger it's the asian sesame with ginger and soy so you're going to use that some apricot preserves and then a pack of lipton onion soup mix and you're going to pour that over your chicken cook it all day serve it over rice it's going to be so good it just looked amazing so i thought i would give it a try i'm also going to add some veggies to it at the end tonight before we serve it so i need to go ahead and get this in the crock pot so you use one cup of the dressing a third cup of preserves and the packet of onion soup mix <music> So I forgot to spray it before I put it in, but I went ahead and just sprayed around the edges so that hopefully this won't stick. So 
So I'm going to cook this, like I said, on high for, I guess, as long as it takes. Probably four hours at least, just because the chicken is kind of frozen still. So... Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get all this off so I can throw this in the wash. Um, I don't wanna, sometimes I forget to put it back on. I don't want it to be like nine o'clock and I just remember that, oh yeah, I gotta remake my bed. So I wanna get it done early so that it can be ready when we are ready for bed. and my living room it's not a mess but like the couch needs to be cleaned off everything needs to be straightened up and then all of this decor needs to come down same thing for my dining room the hutch needs to be cleared out those are Marion's birthday balloons um, and then I've got a few decorations well not a few but you know I've got decorations in my kitchen that need to all come down so I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna like wipe everything down as I you know take it down and then the shelves are nice and clean and then I don't know I may throw a few things up I love greenery and I use it all year round even even in the winter so I do have a bunch of d decor downstairs as you know I recently went through and decluttered a lot of my home decor but um, this is the time of year when I want to just bring out my everyday decor probably won't be doing any kind of like themed decorating again until probably May which is when I do my summer decorating which is my favorite the red white and blue I love to bring it all out I may do like a spring porch decorating though because I definitely want to bring my flower boxes back out and put some spring flowers out there because it's pretty bare right now just for the winter ever since I took Christmas down so other than that it's just going to be here and there things inside you know I love to decorate with like family photos and greenery and those are kind of like my main staples so I might pull some of that out might not but right now I'm just going to take all the Valentine's decor out and I'm going to put it on my table and then I have a bin downstairs I'm going to bring up and then hopefully it will all fit if it doesn't I'm going to declutter enough to where it will fit in the one bin and if there's anything that doesn't fit I'll go through and start another pile for goodwill or for donating or whatever I'm going to take all these and throw them in the wash probably with my duvet just because I 
think they'll fit. So probably there's probably room for all these, and I can when they're. Uh, I don't like to put them away until I've washed them. Maybe you don't want it all. You don't see what you have in front of you. Well, maybe I'm not enough for you. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. Cause I don't want to waste my time. No. I don't want to waste my time. the little stickers I used some of them did leave a residue if I do it again I'll just put painters tape on the back of them and then stick them on that way rather than you know leaving that sticky residue it's a little bit over there on my utensil holder too so I'm just gonna use a magic eraser and see if I can get that off totally came off When I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on And we'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break
guess I lost it all Try to keep it up and standing tall Why don't you stay, stay Cause I could really use a friend Stay, please stay Cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me I'm trying to make it up for my mistakes But everywhere I turn some hearts will break Something, someone will end up getting hurt again There's no need to play pretend Why don't you stay, stay cause I can really use a friend Why don't you stay? That washer is awfully loud. When I am doing just like an in-between clean, I'll just use my vacuum, but I like to get in with my broom and like get in all the little edge, edges. To me, my broom is my favorite. If you've been here, you know. I love my broom and dustpan, and I rather I would rather use that because it gets in all the corners and in between like furniture and the wall, and so yeah, I did that really good. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum my rugs, and I'm going to use my little 
hair removal. I get questions all the time still about this. It's linked to my Amazon shop. I actually saw about two days ago, and I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but about two days ago, it was on sale for $6.99. So definitely go click that link if you wanna get one. If you have animals, this is the most amazing tool. I don't know how I ever made it without it. I think I just, I don't know, maybe my old couch didn't attract front, uh, hair like this one does, or maybe I just didn't see it because it was dark, and now I see it, and I have to get it off, so. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clouds I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be Dinner is ready, y'all. This smells so good, and I tasted it. One little piece. I'm gonna put some rice in a bowl and then put some of this over the top. I just made the California frozen vegetables just to give it a little healthy, you know, kick. And also, oh, I was gonna cut up some green onions to put on top. dinner was delicious Marion loved it it was very good very flavorful um, and I have half that bottle of marinade left so I can do it again and I already have the stuff so he's gonna graciously help me make the bed and of course Clyde's gonna help always if you know you know he's already in here he did actually help me take the sheets off earlier too he had to be all up in it so I'm gonna put the bedding on and then I'm gonna call it a night
dogs, but I got this blanket off of Amazon recently and I thought it would be really pretty to put on the bed. Clearly Clyde wants, do you love the blanket? Do you love it? Um, I think I'm just gonna like fold it over, lay it on here. I think it's so pretty. This will be linked to my Amazon shop. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate your watching and all the support and love. You all are amazing. Hope that this video gave you some kind of motivation if you need to clean or if you we're looking for a new recipe that was a fun one um, definitely one i'll put in my rotation so make sure you check out julia's channel if you're interested she always posts a lot of super easy all different kinds crock pot sheet pan great recipes super simple and few ingredients i really love her channel so make sure to check it out i will link it down below but give this one a thumbs up if you did like it and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye